Um, this Medicare and Medicaid thing, fairly low yield. Um, you know, I've only seen it in like, like the LC has questions about it in, in your reviews because it, it is important. But off the top of my head, like I, I can't imagine how, uh, like how they do this on step one, you know, uh, like for for being able to understand your basic sciences, how important is it that Medicare Part B uh, is just basic medical bills? You know, I don't know. Uh, but they have a nice little mnemonic here: D is drugs, A is for hospital stuff, uh, and home hospice. B's is for your normal, you know, doctor stuff, and see some some weird combo. Uh, the biggest takeaway is is honestly, uh, Medicare is for the elderly, care for the elderly or whatever, and D is for the disabled. And we'll see how that plays into um, readmissions and stuff. So Medicare people greater than over sixty five, except with things like end stage renal disease, because that's pretty bad. Medicaid is for the poor. Hospital care. All right. So when do you do hospice? Six months. This is super high. This is something you're going to see all the time. They'll keep asking questions about six months, and they'll never stop. Okay. So we had previously talked about principle of double effect and uh, physician-assisted uh, suicide or something. And we talked about St. Thomas Aquinas and how he was... Thinking, well, if you're a Christian and you're not supposed to kill people, what happens if you're defending yourself and uh, you know you you end up killing someone in your defense? You know, the idea is that well, if your primary intent isn't one of the effects that occurs, then you shouldn't feel too bad about that effect that happens. So, for example, if someone's rushing at you and you pick up a sword to defend yourself, and in your defense you end up killing them. Well, since that wasn't your primary intent, but it was an effect, huh, can't feel too bad about it. So they talk about things like uh, giving morphine for pain relief, though it'll decrease someone's respirations. Um, well, I remember when I was studying for step one, I memorized this entire thing, this entire thing down here. And it's not really important knowing, you know, oh, for this age range, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three you know, every 14 or 15 or 20 years. Like, that's not that's not what they're going to test you on. Um, what, what they're looking at is, what are the big players? Um, and I kind of labeled them here. Suicide is huge for teenagers, young adults, early adults, or whatever. Uh, heart disease is the biggest killer in the United States, right? Um, so, heart disease is big um, once you're 65 plus. And then when we look at readmissions, well, Medicare, well, we can start tying things together now. Medicare for the elderly, 65 and above. All right. Well, what's the biggest killer? 65 and above. Heart disease. Therefore, here we go. Look at that. Medicaid. Medicaid's for the poor. The poor are disproportionately affected by uh, many afflictions, uh, among which are mood disorders and psychiatric conditions. So. We also tie this to the uninsured. People on Medicaid, people uninsured, both tend to be poor, disproportionately suffer from mood disorders. Okay. And um, that's really it. The questions that you're gonna get uh, with regards to this, um, it, it will it will have you already understand that these are the primary uh, or I'll have you tie why congestive heart failure is associated with Medicare. And that has to do with age. And then it'll ask you why people in Medicaid are more affected with mood disorders. And it'll have you realize, oh, because they both tend to be poor, and these are things that typically affect poorer people. So questions that you're going to find like this, they're not going to be in your cardiology. They're not going to be in your whatever uh, sections. They're just going to ask you, what one thing did you fail to consider? And then you're going to have to say, oh, shoot, that's right. The huge boost in suicide uh, in young kids. So it'll be something that they're going to test. Hey, does he have this in his pocket? 
more than, oh, it's important for you to know that the number uh, three killer in uh, 15 to 34 is homicide, number two is suicide. No. It's just, can you make these connections? Can you see, oh, what can be missing from the puzzle? Oh, yeah, it's the fact that suicide is rather common. 